Hey everyone, so this is Dr. Baron Grutter, and I'm going to make a quick video, a little ortho video here. And honestly, I've never tried this, I'm, or this video, this technique, I'm kind of just got rolling through my brain. Um, if you've watched any of my current videos, I use Blue Sky Plan Ortho um, for most all my ortho. And I have an old video, I don't know how many hits, it seems like it's got uh, 15, 20,000 hits. Um, Degree. I could look it up. Maybe I'm way off. But anyway, it's an old ortho video just talking about how to move teeth. And um, so anyway, um, using mesh mixture. Sorry. And I, I don't use that technique. I haven't in a long time. But I guess a lot of people still use it for some minor tweaking. So um, this is a case where the patient actually, you know, she doesn't really have much needs. Uh, honestly, she has a retainer in her mouth. And so she, um, or sorry, she, her retainer's broke. And she needs new retainers and she said you know what I'd really like to be able to kind of adjust a little bit of these teeth that have moved a little bit on me uh, and honestly she really just points to this number this lower right uh, central incisor number 25 uh, how it's kind of tucked in a little bit and then on her upper teeth you know honestly it's imperceptible but almost but she can tell that the you know it's a little bit tucked in here the laterals are so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of bump these out now you could simply, you know, um, take some composite and uh, on a model and just kind of bulk it out and then shave off the lingual, and that'll work. Uh, it's not real exacting, um, and it's kind of hard to reproduce if you ever lose that model. So this technique, if you even want to call it that, uh, I'm going to try here. I think will work, and I think it will kind of shave a little bit of time off. Um, sorry, it will take about the same amount of time, but it will give us a do a digital model of, that we can work with. So um, let's see how it goes. Uh, it's going to be a little different than I had done in the other video. Not a lot different, but we'll see. So anyway, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to get the teeth that I want separated. So I'm going to hit the S button or the select button and I'm going to dial this down using the bracket buttons or you can grab the slider and move it around. I like shortcuts on the keyboard. And I'm just going to highlight the tooth. It does not have to be exact for this. We want to be pretty close. Um, and my mouse kind of went haywire right there. If that happens, just hold the shift button and you can deselect anything that kind of goes off. This, again, this does not have to be exact. Um, in fact, the way I'm, I'm planning to do this, if you overlap a little bit, it's, you know, I don't think it'll be a big deal. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna spend a little time getting it pretty close and then just move on. Okay. Zoom in here, try to button this up a little bit. And I think that as this idea is rolling around my head, I think I'm not sure how important it's going to be that I get really in these embrasures, but um, <clears throat> excuse me, we will see. Okay, so it didn't get much runoff, maybe a little bit, probably not important, but whatever. Okay, so that tooth selected. I've said in other videos I like to smooth it out, so I hit the B button to smooth the boundary. And just hit accept. Uh, it gives me a nice smooth um, segmentation. Now I'm gonna hit the Y button, which is the same thing as separate, which I think, yeah, it's under the edit tool menu. Y, separate. Okay, so now that this tooth, and we'll just go ahead and call this um, uh, upper right two, and we can you know hide it, and that's gone. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing over here in this lateral because we're going to turn both of these just a touch. Now, she didn't mention anything about the centrals, so we're not going to mess with it. I could almost see it adjusting that a little bit, but honestly, if she's not asking for it, I'm not going to mess with it. Um, sometimes it's one of those things, don't wake a sleeping baby. <laughs> don't um, point out things that are not really that bad. particularly if you've elected to just essentially charge your patient for retainers and told them that you could sort of tweak some movement a little bit and you're really not making, you know, you're, you're doing a lot of work for free. I guess I'm kind of voicing what I did in this case. Um, oh yeah, no problem. We can kind of straighten those out for you a little bit. We'll make, we'll just go ahead and do that in your retainers. Um, so anyway, all right. Good enough, hit B to smooth that, fair enough. It's Y to separate it, okay. So let's make this menu a little bigger, easier to read. 
Let's swing it up here and let's um, <clears throat> hide this bit. This. Okay, so there's our surface. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn back on the maxilla of this copy. Now, what I didn't mention, I apologize, I should have. I went ahead and um, cleaned these models up already, and then I took the, um, I duplicated them. That's why I have these two other ones. So I'm actually going to come back. I'm going to turn the maxilla back on here. And so I've got this tooth. Don't like this color. I've never taken the time to figure out how to change the colors of surfaces. There's got to be a way. I've never, but anyway, I don't. This, this is going to drive me a little bonkers. This dark model. Hopefully, it's you can see it. Um, but let's go ahead and just turn this to. I'm going to hit the T button for transform, and let's move it to where we want it. Okay. Don't like the grid. Not in this situation. I'm going to uncheck that uniform. Or not that. Uh, enable snapping. Okay. Not doing much here. Just. I'm not trying to move it sideways. I'm just turning it a little bit. Okay, that's fine. Let's turn on this one, or let's accept that. And now let's turn on this one. And let's turn it a little bit. This one needs to turn, touch more. Now, the way I'm doing this, I'm expecting this to be one tray. Okay, so um, bear with me on that. That might be a situation where you um, you might not want to do that. You might want to do multiple trays. But I'm pretty confident that we can do this in one tray, um, particularly since she's been there before not too long ago. Um, but if you think it's going to take more than one tray, then this method is not going to be a good idea. Okay, so we've got the teeth pretty much where we want them. So this is where my little idea and why this video might never get aired, because if it doesn't work, I'm not going to waste your time watching it. So let's turn, um, okay, that was the upper left two. Okay. So let's turn off this maxilla and let's turn on this one. And so now you can see the movement. Now in my previous video, um, I mean, to relate to it, you could almost export this as is. Now it won't really work because these teeth um, are open meshes, so you won't really be able to close them properly. Uh, you, you can, there's ways to do it. You could extrude it sort of into the model. Um, but I'm going to do something a little different here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this tooth, I'm going to turn on the magnet. Uh, I call it the magnet. I don't know if that's what they actually mean to call it. But anywhere, let's turn, look for here. See, this is colored, the tooth. That means the tooth, the, the tooth is moved here. Turn this on, and so you can see the, yep, the bluish hue to it. So I'm going to go into Sculpt. Oh, I need to click on this. Click on Sculpt. Click on Brush. And click on Attract. I wonder if that's how I can change the color. All right. I've never messed with it. Okay, so at this point, strength is pretty high, size. And now, I'm just pulling the tooth into that shell, okay? I'm making it so that it's all the same, that it's filling that same area. And I'll show you what this looks like in a moment. It looks pretty darn good. I know what I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and uh, close the sculpt tools. Oh, wait. Well, I'll just hit escape there. Um, and now let's turn off this. And you can see how the mesh lines up. So now, turn this on, it's out there. So we got to do that still from here. So sculpt. Oh, let's turn this to the attract mode. Sculpt this. Right where it's blue, we need to highlight that area. So the tooth pulls into that spot. And so now, technically, we're done. I'm going to turn this off. And so I've made the tooth fatter than it was. 
okay? Um, and you can tell, because if I turn on, if I actually just turn this to a glow, the magnet, you can kind of see through it. You can see that the uh, existing tooth position sticks out a ways. So you could be done right here. And if you had some uh, thermal forming pliers, you could just make the model from this, turn off uh, this guy right here. And then in those areas, like right here, where the tooth needs to push forward, put a dimple here, put a dimple there, and that'll twist the tooth, okay? That's probably the most uh, effective way to actually do rotation. But in her case, I actually want this to be her final retainer. So with that in mind, since I want this to be her final retainer, um, I'm gonna have to be a little more creative because I don't want the final shape to be left, um, I don't want dimples in a final tray. Uh, if I can avoid it, because they tend to collapse and then you might get a little bit of relapse. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this back on and I'm going to try and use the magnet here to zip it back. I'm not sure that it will work I'm trying to go the reverse direction. Yep, yeah, this is working fine. All right, I had an idea if that wasn't going to work, but so just pulling the tooth back a little bit. I don't, don't worry about getting the embrasures too much. Um, because the, the that surface sort of d ends there, it could give you issues. All right, so looking pretty good. Let's turn this guy off. It's the escape button, and you can see that it's pretty well adapted everywhere right there but the only area I'm okay with that um, it's not gonna matter so um, yeah that, that seemed to work so I'm gonna do it quickly on this side you can kind of see what I did do it I'm gonna do it again and uh, hopefully do it a little bit quicker because I'm not gonna divide it up so much I'm just gonna go ahead and get all of this and you can dial up the strength and even dial up the size a little bit. The problem with the size is you can fall off the edges. So I'm going a little too large there. I'm going to stick away from that. I'm going to get this entire buckle or facial surface, get that all dialed in. Let's go around here to the lingual. And there we go. So question in the end is, is, was it worth doing it here? Should I have just done it in Blue Sky Plan? I don't know really. Um, I love Blue Sky Plan. Of course, I'm, you know, I've put a lot of, I've, I've helped with some of the development, so I'm pretty proud of that and I want it to work, but you know, this is a quick, easy little thing. We're not doing much here. We're just basically making a retainer with slight movement of teeth. And, um, you know, I'd say it worked pretty well. Again, Mesh Mixer, you know, is not a dental software. So, um, you know, we kind of treat it like it is at times, but uh, it's not really. So, but there are certain tasks we can do pretty quickly and easily with it. Um, and, you know, at this point, you guys can kind of tune out. I'm going to go ahead and finish this one off. Um, I got this one last tooth to do here. You can end the video here, or you can kind of see how I finish this up. I'm going to try to see how quickly, in fact, I'm going to hit escape. I'm gonna pull this guy up and we are at you know, 10 seconds to 14 minutes. Yeah, that's fine. And I'm gonna see how quickly, I'm not trying to rush through this, but realistically, how quickly can this be accomplished? I'll probably keep talking so it's not just an awkward silence, but I'm gonna to try to stick to moving and not stop. That way we can get a true idea of how long this job should take. This is something that, you know, um, you know, if you've got a busy office and you, you do a fair amount of ortho, you want to kind of finish off some cases with some just minor, minor tweaking, you know, this could be a tool to have in your belt. Um, train a team member to take this on to kind of just finish things. You tell them, hey, I want this tooth this, this tooth there, and then let them have at it. Um, I can see that being a nice little finishing touch for people and then go ahead and hit B and honestly you could do the same thing with hollies you know if you're gonna make a holly retainer and you get some final movement to do well there you go Y to separate that let's turn that off turn them oh no we gotta, now we gotta figure out how we want to rotate
rotate that too. Okay. T to rotate, or T to transform, rotate it a little bit. Okay. That's pretty good. Much where I think she wants it. Okay. Hide this model. Turn this manual back on. And let's start sculpting. Or turn that. Turn this. Uh, sorry, I gotta select two for the model and make the tooth the magnet because we are remember we are adjusting the model, not the tooth. The tooth is telling us where we need to adjust the model to essentially. See out here in this mesial aspect, it's the greatest change, so you can really see the changes as I'm doing the. The attract using the attract tool, magnet, whatever you whatever you want to call it. Go ahead and get the incised ledge if you've got this sort of flat surface, worn surface, or if it's in a you know premolar or something or whatever you'd want to go ahead and really get that occlusal surface as well. Can't imagine anyone doing this for molar. I really don't think this is the appropriate tool, but. All right, well, it looks like I'm at about two and a half minutes. I think I'm pretty much done. And yeah, I mean, maybe there's a little touch right there. Is that, um, yeah, so looks pretty good to me. And I think we're done. So yeah, about maybe three minutes. You tweak a little tooth, print now you just export the model, print it, and you're good to go. Um, I could have exp you know based this model, printed it, done use composite to effectively wax it up, and then uh, make my set down from there. It did it. The question is, is how long would it take me to do that? Would it take me two minutes, three minutes? Yeah, I could think pretty comfortably it would take that long, maybe like, maybe a minute. But now you don't have a, you have to re-impress that model to have that saved forever. Right now, this is her permanent model. I can save this two years from now. I can reprint it if necessary. So. Anyway, um, long video. Hope it was helpful. Uh, if anyone gets a kick out of this, great. If not, well, I got it, it, <laughs> this is actually for a patient of mine, so um, I got it taken care of for me. And if you got up to learn something while we're moving along, uh, hopefully it did. All right. Well, if you're uh, looking for other videos, you, I've got a ton of them. So make sure you check out my um, uh, YouTube channel. Check out my Facebook. Check out Instagram. All Baron Grutter DDS. Uh, and let me know if you have any questions. All right, thanks so much. Bye for now.